Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. In this video, I will show you how to fix this particular error that says restoring backup on the server PostgreSQL 16 has failed. Okay, I am starting the backup process. It starts but it fails. So what I am doing, I will show you again what the process, the normal process is that to create a database, I have created a database using the same method that I have already shown you how to create database in the previous video. So I created database and I have the sample database to load but what I am trying to do when I try to restore it, I will do from tar file, okay, it should be done but it fails okay so i i have also faced this error for the first time but what i believe the situation might be let me show you so to fix this error you need to go to file go to preference okay in the preference we need to search for the paths so here is the paths okay so the situation is that our binary path is not set as we can see uh, here we are using server 16 okay postgresql 16 server but the path is not set uh, if i show you uh, this is not opening because there is no path if i open this one see uh, it's saying that pg dump not found on the specified path because the path is not specified and the default path it is taking so to perform the pg store or pg uh, dump uh, we cannot do because it's saying that the path is not found so how to fix it uh, so for me the server 16 is applicable since i'm using server 16 i'll show you here if you can say uh, in the said uh, my server is postgresql 16 let me prove it we know the function to check the version of your server so i'll show you how to do it select version okay so for me it's postgresql 16 so let's go again there find the paths here it is so i need to set the binary path the binary path we can find go to c drive usually it is c drive then go to postgresql then 16 then bin folder okay so for me this is applicable but for you the path this path might be different uh, it depends on your installation path okay where you have installed your postgresql server so for me this is the path so i'll copy this and now i'll come here now i'll paste here okay when i validate it it should get validated yes see so now this is validated i'll click ok and here i'll select this one uh, also i as of now i don't need this one this adb advanced server but still i'll set to not to face any challenge in future okay so i have done this and now we can see this path is validated click on ok also i can select this one so now what we have done we have set the binary path for both the servers now save it okay so uh, we have <coughs> we have saved the binary path now let's try again to restore i'll form format i'll keep at is as it is customer tar file now i'll select one tar file that i have this backup okay so i have this backup file and now i'll click on restore so process has started it it's running and now it's completed okay if i see view process if i scroll here you can see here that this is finished successfully okay and time this is the time taking uh, 3.96 seconds and also we can verify that by expanding this thing now we can have the tables we also have the data also we have views
okay so that means our database is loaded successfully and that particular error has been solved so this was for the video in the next video i will show you different ways of restoring uh, postgres database and also i will show you how to take backup properly from the data postgres sql database so please subscribe to channel to get the notifications and if this video was helpful please do like the video so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye